The sale of sacred Native American masks and other objects went ahead in Paris Monday, despite objections from Arizona tribes and the U.S. Embassy in France. This was spring in April of 2013 here in Paris. I came across this little blurb about uh, about a sale of, of sacred Native American objects. I must say, as an artist, as an individual, I was quite struck by the raw power and the beauty of these objects. In my paintings, I'm very inspired by sacred art and indigenous art. I'm also very passionate about archaeology, and I just think we have a certain responsibility to be very attuned to their culture. What I didn't realize at the time is that to the Native Americans, the Hopis, these were more than objects. The Hopis call them friends or, or ancestors, and so they're really living beings. The uh, Kachina friends are very basic to Hopi religious principles. Every Hopi eventually gets initiated into the Kachina way. They are messengers to the, to the spiritual world. They're messengers to the cloud people to bring us rain. All our activities or ceremonies revolve around the casino. They were taken off the reservation illegally. So we have always taken the position that they need to come back home. We cannot feel good when someone else is making a profit off of our religion. I contacted Leonard Oppie, the executive director of the foundation in Los Angeles, and we worked together to organize a concerted effort to participate in the auction. I decided we must do this anonymously because I didn't want word to get out that it was the Annenberg Foundation behind the auction because I thought two problems, that's going to drive up interest in the objects and that would quite potentially make the prices go higher. So we wanted to keep this as low-key as possible. Fortunately, we were able to get the majority of the objects back. The Hopis knew nothing about this. So after the auction, I felt we really needed to come out with our story. When that news came to the Hopi people and everybody else, boy, you know, we couldn't believe it. It was like, wow, okay. There's good in this world yet, and it sets example. Sometimes you just have to do the right thing. What I didn't expect is it really seemed to have resonated with so many different people. I don't think the foundation had ever seen such a response as this. The anonymous bidder who was gobbling up all the pieces at the auction turns out to have been a US-based philanthropic group called the Annenberg Foundation cloak and dagger, super top secret altruism. So what was really truly a positive outcome of this whole event is when we repatriated the objects. The Smithsonian joined us and they timed our return to, to bring at least 90 incredible objects back to the Hopis at the same time. The Bureau of Land Management also joined in. There was even a private collector return a, a sacred artifact. So this, this effort by the Annenberg Foundation really created a groundswell of, of, of goodwill and concrete outcome. I truly believe that because they've joined the other Kachinas here, I believe this coming year is gonna be a good year for harvest. You know, they're home, that's the main thing. I think until I was actually here, I couldn't realize just how, how important it, it is for the Hopi. I'm incredibly inspired by this landscape and the whole spiritual aspect of seeing the Hopis who have managed to survive and live and flourish here for so many countless generations. Hello, Gregory. Hi, I am Chairman Honani, very pleased to meet you. 
I really admire their respect of tradition and also an incredible sense of humility. Willingly uh, went forward and uh, did something on, on our behalf, uh, hearing our, our pleas. And so, uh, tell you guys again, uh, you know, thank you. Thank you for your selflessness, your altruistic heart, and what you were able to do for the Hopi people. It's unfortunately something that is continuing the sale of sacred objects. I feel very humbled by this experience. I think it's important for all of us to respect the Hopi people, and if we can, to help them keep this up.